you know what I want to do? I want to listen to some Linkin Park, baby. I haven't listened to this song yet. I know I'm a little late to this party, but I'm excited. Heavy is the crown. League of Legends. I've never played this game, but maybe I want to be a gamer girl soon. I feel like that is, would be something that would be fun for me. I used to love playing Nancy Drew. Okay. On my PC. That just started to make me so emotional. Literally nothing that he said. It just sounds like so much like old Linkin Park. It like makes me emotional. I don't know why this is getting me right now. It's so silly, but like it sounds really like it just sounds like old Linkin Park. Okay, get it together, Taylor. On the floor again one knock at the door and then we both know how the story ends you can't win if your white flags out when the war begins aiming so high but swinging so low trying to catch fire but feeling so cold hold it inside and hope it won't show i'm saying it's not but inside i know today's gonna be the day you notice because i'm tired of explaining what the joke is this is what you asked for Okay, this is good. I really like this. Um, it's interesting also because I did prequel by Falling in Reverse last week. And basically the last line in that song is all about heavy is the crown. So we really talked about how we often think of crowns as being something that is glorifying. But the reality is, is that often a crown is something that we did not choose. That is a burden that we wear. And still that crown can lead us to glory. So it's just interesting, this theme that I've seen, I'm noticing I'm heavy is the crown. And obviously that's the title of this song, but I already see like so much both in this song, like aiming so high, but you're swinging so low trying to catch fire, but feeling so cold, like feeling like where you are at and what you are capable of is the complete opposite of what you want to achieve and what you are reaching for. And that distance between those field things feels so heavy and so hard. And if you can relate to that, please share in the comments by tagging out heart support. Our comment section is a living support wall. We will encourage you. We will support you. We love you. We did just have some problems with our tech. Basically, we fixed a bug. So if you are someone who has commented and you ha did not receive support, I am so sorry from the bottom of my heart. That is never what we want to happen. We want to make sure everyone that opens up is supported. Please comment again. Our tech broke for a moment. We caught a little thing and now we fixed it and sorted it back together. Technology is crazy. I don't know how the codes work, but I know that we're going to get you supported now. So I apologize if we... We missed that. Okay, I love you. Turn to run now, look what it's become. Out number 10 to 1. Back then, should have bit your tongue, because there's no turning back this path once it's begun. You're already on that list. Say you don't want what you can't resist. Waving that sword when the pen won't miss. Watch it all falling apart like this. This is what you asked for. Heavy is the crowd. Fire in the sun. I just think this is really interesting.
have so many thoughts. Go up, queen, that scream. This is so good. I, I just think this is so interesting in context. Like, okay, they released their first song, The Emptiness Machine. And as soon as they announced Emily, like the world kind of like blew up. We did a whole video about it. So check that out. I feel like we have an interesting perspective to offer you that I would love for you to watch. But they kind of blew up every, they got a bunch of backlash. And now this is the second song. It's like, did they know that everyone was going to freak out and kind of be upset? And like, and I'm not here to say, the reasons that people are upset are right or wrong. I'm not, that is not the the place that I'm in. And if you would like to talk about that, I understand. Watch our video first and then let me know what you think after. But it's like, she's saying like, this is really hard. Heavy is the crown of this band almost. Like I knew this was going to be hard. I wanted to step into this and it's just so interesting, like the context of this song, given the context of their situation, it feels very purposeful that this was the song that was released next. I think it's so cool that it's with League of Legends. I don't know a lot of about League of Legends, so I'm not a gamer girl, but I think it's really just powerful imagery. I need us to go back and listen to that scream. But before we do, I look at the lyrics while I'm listening. And I don't know if this is true, but I think this is so cute if it is true. So I have to read it to you. On the lyrics on Genius, it says that when she screamed in that breakdown, it lasts for about 16 seconds, which rivals the scream that Chester gives in Given Up. And people theorize that the scream was intentionally cut one second short to honor Chester, which I think is so sweet and cute if that's true. And so I'm just going to, in my heart and spirit, say that it is. And we're going to go back and we're going to listen to this breakdown because holy crap. Also, like the lyrics of this song are like pretty heavy in the sense of like clearly. Okay, I just don't want to miss anything. Clearly, the person singing it is like going through something really challenging and difficult. And still, the driving nature of the song and the beat behind it, it almost sounds like joyful and triumphant, which I think is really powerful. There's something about there almost being joy in the heaviness. And when I was reading these lyrics, like I'm just thinking about how interesting it is that if you just do what I call the flip, everything changes. And it's like, you can say like how there's this mindset of like how heavy is the crown I carry can very quickly be tri- shifted, flipped into how strong I am for carrying the weight of this crown. And that is the way the song sounds. Like, how strong am I for carrying the weight of this crown? And I just like that flip. And I think that it's really important that we express our feelings. But once we do, so we don't get stuck on them, even if we don't believe it right away, offering ourselves the flip of the perspective. One perspective weighs you down with the weight of the crown. The other perspective inspires you to stand taller. And so it's this song asks us 
to feel both because I think this song has both into it in it even though it's not said even though the second perspective isn't said I felt it it's like I can do this I am strong like heavy is the crowd I'm gonna scream for 16 freaking seconds because I'm a bad E right and we have to learn how to have both and to give ourselves the gift of the flip and I think that's what this song is really powerful about it is like it allows us to see that they can exist and again I know it's not said but like don't you feel it don't you feel the driving energy of like this is a this song sounds triumphant which is the second perspective which is the flip of yes how heavy is the crown the crown is heavy how strong am I for being able to carry the weight of this crown I am strong you know where I go to get strong you guys the freaking gym working on my fitness. Here's my witness. If you want to feel strong, you got to go to the gym. It's my favorite place. And my favorite gym, oh gosh, this just made me so happy because it's making me think of like the best moms in my life is Dog Pound. So if you guys live in LA or in New York, you have to check out Dog Pound because it's the coolest, nicest gym. And they are huge supporters of us. I had one of the best weekends of my life in LA for their opening. They donated the proceeds from their opening to heart support, which was amazing. We came as Romans played in a boxing ring. It was just the best. And I just like, sometimes when we don't feel strong, when we're feeling the weight of something, we need to remember how strong we are to be able to carry that, like to not be crushed by that. It can be heavy, but we're still standing. And that's why I personally like the gym. I think it's also good for my mental health, but I just love, I love Dog Pound. I love Kirk. I love the whole team. They're amazing. And I love that they recognize that mental and physical health are linked and we can use, we need both. So that was just a little shout out to my people, to my people. Uh, But you guys, you know, if you feel like something is heavy and you're having a hard time finding the flip, share in the comments and let us encourage you. That's what we're here for. And if you want to be someone who helps other people carry their burden, I need you to volunteer with us. It's easy. It's simple. So just click the link. Volunteer will teach you how to do it. I love you.